Hey guys, this is a video in my Casio Scientific Calculator tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to calculate the arithmetic mean, sample standard deviation, as well as the population standard deviation for a set of numbers. I'm also going to show you how you can find the sum of a set of numbers and the sum of the squares of the set of numbers using the Casio Scientific Calculator. The model I have here is a FX300MS, but the features should be same on similar model calculators. Without further ado, let's get to it. First, we need to switch the calculator to standard deviation mode. Press the mode button and we're going to select SD for standard deviation, which is 2. So press 2 on the number pad and now the calculator is in standard deviation mode. Next. We are going to input a set of numbers. Uh, we'll be working with um, these numbers will be 2, 5, 8, 6, 9, 9, and 9. So that's 2, 5, 8, 6, and 3 nines. This is just an arbitrary set I made up. In order to enter the numbers, you will type the first number in your set, so which is 2 and then press the M plus button and this pops up N equals 1 that's telling you that 2 is the first entry in the set next press 5 which is the next number in the set and pl uh, press the M plus button one more time and this pops up N equals 2 it's letting you know that uh, 5 is the next entry on the set. Do the same for 8. Press 8 and then M plus and it's letting you know that N is 3. Press 6 and M plus. Now like I mentioned there are three nines so instead of having to type in 9 three times I'm going to type in 9 and then press shift and the comma button to select the semicolon option and I'm going to type in 3 that's letting the calculator know that 9 appears 3 times in the set now if I press M plus notice that N went to 7 from 4 so there are 7 pieces of data right now the calculator took 9 as being entered 3 times so now that we have our data entered. Let's clear this. Next we're going to find the arithmetic mean for this set. So press shift and number two to select S var and this comes up. The X with the bar on top is the arithmetic mean so we're going to press one on the number pad and once this pops up on the screen press enter and we get the arithmetic mean for this set. So let's clear this now and since the data is already entered we don't need to re-enter it so press shift and the number two again to select as var. This time we're going to find the population uh, standard deviation which is the second option. So press two on the number pad and this pops up and press enter and we get the population standard deviation. Clear this out, press shift and two again and the last one is sample standard deviation which is three so press three on the number pad this comes up on the screen press equals and we get the sample standard deviation. Let's clear the screen. Now we're going to find the sum of the set. So press shift and number one to select S sum. So this comes up. The first option is the sum of the squares of the numbers in the set. So if you press one on the number pad this comes up, press equals. So this is the sum of the squares of the numbers in the data set. 
So let's clear that. Go to Shift and press 1 again. The next one is uh, the sum of the numbers in the data set. So press 2. And this comes up. Press Enter. And this is the sum of the numbers in the data set. Let's clear it out one more time. Press Shift and 1. And if you select N, which is 3, press equals, it just lets you know how many pieces of data you have entered. Now, a lingering question might be, how do you delete a stored data set? So all you need to do in order to delete a stored data set is press Shift and the Mode button and then press 1 to select SCL which is stat clear so press 1 on the number pad and this comes up stat clear press enter this stays on the screen so now just press all clear so now if you wanted to check if anything was entered uh, press shift press S sum and select number 3 it tells you there are zero pieces of data entered so every a piece of data has been cleared uh, from the stored data I hope this video helps as always if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments section I'll try my best to help if you haven't already please subscribe check out other videos on my channel especially the graphing and scientific calculator tutorial series and until next time take care guys